Hello everybody, welcome back to the KOTLC Fanbase. My name is Austin, and in today's video, we are going to be looking over some awesome KOTLC reactions to the newest book, KOTLC Unlocked. We're gonna see how did people, you know, react to the book? Did they like it? Did they not like it? And then I asked them to put a rating, so we're gonna see what they rated Unlocked. But before we jump into all these awesome KOTLC fan reactions, make sure you like this video if you enjoyed Unlocked. Comment down below what would you rate Unlocked, because I would love to hear what you guys have to say, because, because I know that a lot of people either really like Unlocked or really didn't like unlock so i would love to hear what you guys think also make sure to subscribe down below because we just hit 6,000 subscribers which thank you guys so much but you know now we're on to the next goal so let's try and get to 7,000 subscribers so if you guys could subscribe and help us out that would be amazing also if you have not checked our discord server out go down into the description and click the link so that you can join our discord server and talk to us and a lot of kotlc fans but without further ado let's get into the first kotlc reaction all right this first one's by sugar and this person says KOTLC Unlocked is one of the best books ever. I liked how Keith had a load of new abilities and that one of the triplets are talentless. There were a lot of extras which were fun to read, although if the book was longer it would have been better. 8 out of 10. I definitely agree with this. Definitely a, a good rating here because I definitely liked, you know, Keith's new ability. Seeing, you know, that this isn't just like, you know, another elven ability. It's kind of new and kind of freshens up our read of the series. As one of the triplets being talentless, although I, I didn't want one of them to be talentless, but it still added to the plot, which I liked about it. And then I also agree that the book definitely needed to be longer you know obviously the novella part needed to be longer rather than the series guide so yeah i definitely definitely agree with you this one was you know a top book in the series i think it's in the top 50 percent so thank you sugar for this chaos Dose review let's get on to the next one all right next one we got hazel the weirdo and this person says the book overall was amazing but i feel like the novella was too sad bad news after bad news and was much too short for my liking i finished novella in less than a day i liked how we got keith's pov but most of his thoughts were about Sophie. I just thought it was a bit too much gushy for my liking. We also didn't get much of other people in the novella. So yeah, that's about it. 6 out of 10. Not my favorite. I agree with you, although I would rate it a little bit higher. I did think, you know, there was good news at the end where Sophie kind of burned down the Never Seen Storehouse. I thought that was kind of good news for them that now they're actually taking action in the war. So I think, you know, that was kind of good news to end off that they're ready for the Never Seen. They're ready for action. And yes, Keith's POV was a lot about Sophie. But if you really think about it, this, this series is based off Sophie. So I mean, yes we get you know keeps thoughts and about everything but you know of course it's going to be about sophie because that's the main character in this book so i didn't really you know feel too bad about that and then i, I did think that we got a lot of characters in the novella especially when they raided the storehouse because i mean they had glimmer and they had tam they had fitz i mean i think they had a lot of characters i know there wasn't much of wiley and naraka but yeah i guess that there definitely needed to be more characters but i mean i was pretty satisfied but thank you so much hazel weirdo let's get on to the next reaction all right this next reaction is by sophia may and this person says my thoughts the cliffhanger wasn't that bad yes i want to know what happens next but i know that none of my favorite characters are in immediate danger i mean nothing could have topped legacy's cliffhanger so we were well equipped for this one keith's memories and the little doodles throughout the book were my favorite things ever so yeah first thoughts shannon messenger definitely definitely does great cliffhangers and i actually really like this one keith writing the letter and seeing what you know because we're going to return back to sophie's point of view so we're going to see what she thinks about the letter and then all well, the characters aren't in, in immediate danger I mean, yes, they are in danger because the Never Seen will most likely attack in the next book. But yeah, they're not in immediate danger. So I agree with that. And then yeah, Keith's memories were great and all the art was great. So yes, I definitely agree with you. You know, the cliffhanger was good. You know, the series guide, Keith's memory stuff was good. So yeah. All right. Thank you, Sophia May. Let's get on to the next reaction. All right. This next review is by Ellie Kim. And this person says, as an avid member of Team Keith, I loved seeing everything from his point of view. I also thought that Grady changed quite a bit at the end by letting Keith go. He's becoming a more father-like figure after what Alden did in the extra. Also, can we please talk about poor Rex? Being talentless was, will be a nightmare for him. Overall, an 8 out of 10, one of the greatest books yet. I agree, I put this in my top 3 of the Unlocked as my third favorite book, so I agree, this is one of the greatest books. I'm also a member of Team Keith, so it was awesome to see his point of view, even though it was really short, I mean, maybe like, it was less than like 200 pages, so even though we got pages about him, I mean, I wish it was longer because it was super, super good. And then I also like how Grady changed because he kind of is changing as a character because he took a step into Keith's shoes and he's like, yeah, I realized that, you know, Keith is in a bad place, so I need to let him go. So I definitely agree with you on that. And then, yeah, of course, Alan wasn't really like a father figure to Keith because of that, you know, the extra chapter 
through Keith's perspective. And then of course the Rex thing with Talentless definitely is very sad because his dad is Talentless. So I was definitely, you know, felt emotions during the book when I read that. I was kind of feeling sad for him. This book is definitely an 8 out of 10. I agree with you on that. Let's get on to the next review. All right, this next reaction is pretty short, but this is what it says. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. I liked it, but it was just too short. I felt there were too much extras, which were a bit unnecessary. I just wanted more action. Now I gotta wait another year. The thing I did like though was Keith's ability. It's interesting and new and I also liked when Sophie burned the never seen hideout. That was sick. Yes, I agreed that the novella was really short and I didn't really think the series guide was necessary. I would love more of the novella because we had Keith's perspective. And honestly, let's put the series guide at the end of the series when we all you know, have to recap things. That's what I think. Keith's ability was very interesting and new, which kind of added to the plot and made it like a really cool addition to the story. Also, when Sophie burned the Never Seen's hat out, I also agreed that was probably the best part of the book. It was amazing to see how now the Black Swan are finally on the offensive rather than just hiding. But yeah, thank you so much for the review. Definitely covered, you know, most things in the book. Now let's get on to the next review. All right, I have another short one for us by Sarah Chung. So let's see. Keith's attention list was wonderful and the action novella was also wonderful. My favorite part was getting Keith's POV on what was happening to him. And it was just cool to hear from someone that's not Sophie. Yes, I definitely agree. It was really cool to hear someone not Sophie's perspective. I hope Shan does that later in the book series because she did it so well in this book that she's gotta do it again. And the novella was definitely wonderful, like you said. And then also Keith's attention list was pretty cool there's a lot of cool additions in this book even though there was some stuff that were bad in this book but yeah i agree with you on this one thank you sarah chung let's get on to the next review all right this next one's by ivy anderson this is the last review of the video so let's get straight into it i'm way super late but i love the exclusive info it could have have been a little less extensive and i was hoping for more story but i absolutely adored the artwork of the food and the dresses and the characters the novella was okay but i hate that she had to make keith leave again i was hoping for an epic confession scene and a happy ending like up to so keith and while that may have been minorly unrealistic, I honestly hated that he had to be absent for so long and that this had to happen again. I love Sophie's awesome Moonlark never seen storehouse scene. I got this new view of her as a character and it was really relatable to me. I wish everyone was supportive and they didn't deny that there was actually at war. What does it matter making me official? Anyways, those are just the negatives. I like the book overall. For the exclusive info, I'd say 8 out of 10 and for the novella, maybe a 6 and a half. So this person actually, different than others, actually really liked the series guide more than the novella, which is pretty interesting. I definitely like the artwork like you said. That really bring a great you know addition to the series guide and then the novella you know this person said it was okay because you know they were kind of wishing for something else different and i definitely agree with you on the sophie moonlark never seen storehouse scene the burning of that was really cool and it really showed initiative by the black swan and not just by the black swan but actually really sophie because she's actually really just ready and she shows that in this book but thank you for the review that was the last one so let's get straight into the outro all right i hope everyone enjoyed these ktlc reactions thank you for everyone who actually you know submitted a reaction there were some people that didn't make the video but you know you gotta understand there's so many that i couldn't get to but thank you for everyone who submitted it in this video and just submitted it in general so if you guys enjoyed these ko tales reactions make sure to drop a big thumbs up on this video and also comment down below what was your reaction to ko tlc unlock i would love to hear what you guys think and i always reply to comments so if you drop a comment i will reply to you also make sure to subscribe down below because we know that about 70 percent of you guys are not subscribed so if you guys could help us out, subscribe to the channel, it would be amazing. And also if you guys want to check out some KOTLC merch, you guys can go to the link at bit.ly slash KOTLC fanbase merch where you have awesome KOTLC designs such as So Cute, So Fits, and Iggy, and much, much more. So you guys can go check that out. The link is in the description, but that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.